This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Hugh Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. New this evening, the mystery surrounding Sarasota's connection to the September 11 terrorist attacks continues to grow. And now, new information about the investigation into that. An independent investigative journalism platform called the Florida Bulldogs says the FBI is withholding the terms of compensation for three leaders of the 9-11 Commission. The Florida Bulldog reports the FBI is not disclosing how much the Bureau paid the commissioners charged with conducting the review of its performance. The commission gave a limited look at the FBI's investigation from more than a decade ago at a Sarasota family with apparent ties to the 9-11 hijackers. Controversy over a new business sign near downtown Sarasota. Many passers-by liked it, but the city says it breaks the rules. ABC 7's Ray Collins is joining us with this story tonight. Ray. Haley, the sign went up last summer, but came down last week. Oh, Derek, how can I help you? Hairstylist Derek Donovan opened the salon of his dreams last July in Sarasota's Burns Court. He got the inside just right and stuck this eye-catching sign out front. There was an existing sign there. My father and myself pulled that one out, put a new one in, and then we realized we needed to be permitted. So they hired a contractor who filed for a permit, but the city says the sign is against the rules. The reason it, it was a monument-style sign. That's right, it's a monument-style sign, and the city told Derek that's not allowed on primary roads like Orange Avenue. If my building was facing that side street or that side street, I could have the sign, so I'm about 40 feet off. We emailed, called, and then stopped by Sarasota City Hall for a comment on this issue, but instead received a written statement that confirmed Donovan put up a sign not authorized for a primary street. The statement goes on to say he was cited for the sign back in August and brought to four code compliance hearings and given until this week to remove this unauthorized sign. And every shop owner in this neighborhood is like, we love your sign. In the meantime, Derek says he's been swamped with support from neighbors in Burns Court. And over the weekend, he posted his situation on social media and drew over 100 reactions, comments, and shares. But despite the frustration, he says he wants everyone to know the city is trying to work with him. We had four hearings. And they go, how about thinking this through? How about trying this way? So they tried for me. There's no question about it. So they are pro-business. The sign's not in the ground. No, his sign is no longer in the ground. It's upstairs now, and it's been replaced by this one, at least temporarily. Yeah, we drove by tonight. That plastic banner is now up where that illegal sign once stood, Haley. And Ray, why doesn't he have a sign over the door? Well, I asked him, he says the building owner doesn't want any signs on that building. So it's a little tough for him to market his business. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ray. And now for a check on our forecast, let's head over to Bob. Well, some big concerns tonight for uh, area drivers. I tell you, already down to a quarter mile visibility near Charlotte Harbor and also near I-275 Punta Gorda, all the way up to near Northport and down to a mile visibility at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. So visibilities are starting to lessen across the area as a result of the fog that is forming. And it's only going to get thicker, I think, as we move through time in the morning. Already dense of fog advisories in effect for parts of Florida. Uh, we're not including that quite yet, but I think we will be before uh, sunrise tomorrow. By 9 o'clock, though, the fog will start to burn off and we'll start to see a beautiful day tomorrow. And then we'll be back again tomorrow night, it looks like. So that'll be the biggest concern and issue. Currently, we do have some low clouds and fog around 66 on the temperature. Same with the dew point, humidity 100% and the winds are calm at this hour. More on the forecast coming up in a few minutes. Haley, back to you. Thank you, Bob. Sarasota State Senator Greg Stubbe has introduced a controversial measure that would allow more than one and a half million Floridians with concealed weapons permits to openly carry handguns. Senator Stubbe's bill is filed for the 2017 legislative session. It would also expand places where people with concealed weapons licenses are allowed to carry guns. Some of those include local government meetings, elementary and secondary schools, airport passenger terminals, and college campuses. They would would still not be allowed at police stations, jails, courtrooms, polling places, and most bars. Stubbe hopes his legislation that puts together several different bills will make it easier to pass. With the things that we have seen and the terrorism attacks that we've seen across our state and our nation, I think people have the right through the Second Amendment and to protect themselves to be able to carry and do that. And it, 
it's very important to me that people have the ability to defend themselves, and that's why I keep pushing bills like this. There's no evidence to even suggest that the more guns we put in these areas is going to reduce gun violence or, or violence in itself. There's absolutely none. During the 2016 session, the open carry measure was approved 80 to 38 in the House, but failed to advance through the Senate Judiciary Committee. The Palmetto Police Department is investigating a shooting on MLK Place in Palmetto. The police department says it happened around 4 a.m. and the victim was shot by an unknown suspect in a car. The victim suffered serious injuries but is in stable condition. Right now there is no known motive or a lead on a suspect, but anyone with information should contact Crime Stoppers. Today marks six months since the massacre at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. A large crowd gathered for a moment of silence at exactly 2.02 a.m. at the club. That is the time gunman Omar Mateen started shooting inside on July, excuse me, June 12. Only those with a direct connection to the shooting attended this morning's ceremony. Meanwhile, the Orlando Police Department is launching a safe place initiative for victims of anti-LGBT crimes. Orlando businesses are encouraged to place decals on their windows to show that they are a safe place if someone is being harassed. Uh, when people come in and um, feel they're being threatened or harassed by someone else, that they can um, have a, a safe place to stay. The important part is uh, signaling to the community that this is a, a safe business to come to if you're feeling threatened or harassed. As friends and family honor the victims there, many on the Suncoast share their memories. One of the first victims identified, Eddie Sotomayor, was from Sarasota. An outpouring of support and gifts have been sent to his former employer, a local travel agency. But those close to him say many emotions are resurfacing today. Also, seven victim advocates from the Suncoast went to Orlando to help. Two from the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office helped dozens of students cope with the tragedy. It was life changing, not just for the individuals, but also for us. We would much rather remember than ignore it or forget it because it keeps the best part of Eddie Sotomayor right in front of us. 49 people were killed and 53 more injured on June 12th after Mateen entered the Pulse nightclub. The Sun Coast is known for its generosity, but this holiday season, several major nonprofits have seen a slight decrease in donations and they're struggling to meet the need. One of those programs is the Salvation Army's Angel Tree. It provides gifts for children and seniors in need this holiday season. The organization's goal is to grant Christmas wishes for about 2,000 people, but donations have been slow. We have about 200 children that uh, people have either not adopted or haven't brought their angels back for. So we're trying to remind everybody in our 75 degree weather that it is Christmas in Florida and we appreciate those who help us help others. In addition, about 50 seniors have not been adopted. The deadline to drop off donations has been extended to this Friday, the 16th. Almost 200 USF Sarasota Manatee students are celebrating. They are now graduates from a local university. The two-hour commencement ceremony taking place on Sunday at the Bradenton Area Convention Center. Out of the 195 students receiving degrees, 25 of them earned their master's degree. Some of the graduates will go on to work at Moat Marine Lab in Sarasota, the Manatee County Sheriff's Office, and some will attend medical school. Every Christmas Day, Santa visits children at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. But this year, Santa made a surprise visit before Christmas because of all the construction at SMH. Santa says the best part of his annual visit is to see the children's reactions when he walks in the room. He adds that SMH makes it easy for Santa to visit the children who are extremely ill. And he says those kids rarely ask for anything. Several times they're very weak and they can't uh, say a lot. But what they always do is they want to hug Santa, and that is the best. Santa says his message for kids this year is to be good, be patient, and take care of family and friends. And straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, why a plane headed from overseas to Houston had to make an emergency landing at JFK in New York. And some developments just in regarding the president-elect's cabinet selections. Sarasota Jungle Gardens invites your family to the Holiday Light Spectacular Select Nights in December. Come enjoy dazzling light displays, live entertainment, and pictures with Santa. Tickets and information available at the door or online at sarasotajunglegardens.com.
ABC7 is proud to present Line Dance Central. Now you can learn popular country and not-so-country line dances from the comfort of your own home. Just visit mysuncoast.com, click on entertainment, and you'll be kicking up your boots or flip-flops in no time. Brought to you by the White Buffalo Saloon and Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring. With over $126 million in prizes, use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. This holiday season, give the greatest gifts of all, safety and peace of mind. Subaru offers more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month, or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it. Don't miss Sarasota Jungle Gardens Holiday Light Spectacular, select nights in December. There's joyous music, roasting marshmallows, and festive family activities. Tickets and information available at the door or online at sarasotajunglegardens.com. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Well, people don't know it here in Florida, more people are involved in accidents as a result of fog than severe thunderstorm warnings and all kinds of different weather phenomena. So keep that in mind, especially folks driving tomorrow morning. Dense fog advisories are already out for parts of uh, I-75 north of our area, and I suspect they'll be in effect for our area fairly soon as that fog is starting to thicken up a bit, especially near Punta Gorda, Northport, Port Charlotte. Uh, there's the area that is uh, down to visibility less than, than zero, actually zero visibility right now along I-75 near Ocala, all the way up to near Gainesville, where dense fog advisory now is in effect, covering much of I-275 from the Florida-Georgia border all the way down uh, past Ocala. So tough driving conditions there and dangerous driving conditions. Now, this is a Sunshine Skyway webcam, one of the uh, uh, FDOT uh, cameras there showing not too bad of a problem right now along the Sunshine Skyway bridge. However, uh, this morning there were advisories as a result of the heavy fog around earlier today. So that will be a factor again tomorrow, I believe, as we move through time. Now, as far as photos go, beautiful sunset tonight. Uh, this one sent in from Cindy Desmond, uh, always getting a great shot here from the North Jetty, looking out over the Gulf of Mexico. And Fred Seeger also snapping the shot uh, on Siesta Key, which was uh, just beautiful out there with a reflection pond, the tidal pond there. As far as the weather headlines go, more morning fog tomorrow could be a, a tough commute for many uh, drivers. And weak cold front moves on late Wednesday and cools us down for Thursday and Friday, but a quick turnaround. We're expecting warm weather to return on Wednesday. Well, the overall radar picture showing some showers along the East Coast continue to push away from us, and we're looking at generally just some foggy conditions. Now, when this front moves through late Wednesday and early Thursday morning, chance for a few showers, but not much. 66 degrees, the dew point 65. So it's been fluctuating back and forth here, but 
uh, so close that fog is uh, likely. Winds calm now and the pressure 3012 and that continues to rise at this hour. The high today was warm 79 degrees. Our normal high 75, 74 degrees and uh, 85. The record set in 2015 and looks like uh, we'll see temperatures again into the upper 70s to low 80s tomorrow. So another warm day right now. The current dew point temperature is very high across the state, especially the peninsula. 72 in Miami. That's summer like 63 in Orlando. The actual temperatures now into the upper 60s to low to mid 70s across the peninsula and uh, right now into the mid to upper 60s uh, along the coastline, low 60s in Sebring, Lake Placid, and even into Arcadia at 64 degrees. I mentioned the sunshine. We should see plenty of it after the fog burns off, say 9, 10 o'clock, and then uh, look for partly cloudy skies, temperatures warming. Well, the big storm system that moved through over the weekend is now exited into the Atlantic, and now the deep, bitter cold continues to funnel in across the northern Plains states. Here's that weak front. You see it's not moving much. Uh, it's rather parallel with the overall flow, but it will eventually get a little kick and move through, it looks like, as we push through time on late Wednesday and into early Thursday. Behind it, some cooler and slightly drier air just for a couple of days, though. That's it. Uh, for boaters, it checks out like this. Uh, for uh, fog conditions, that'll be the biggest problem. And then seas running less than two feet. The water temperature now is 69 degrees. And beaches will see a high of 76. Low tide upcoming, 410. A high tide will be at 957. And fog developing already starting to. And fog uh, will be a problem tomorrow morning. We'll see partly cloudy skies. And then the extended forecast looks like this. Showers not really in the forecast at all until Sunday. And that's only at 20%. Notice just a couple of days with highs near average. And then we go back above it as early as Saturday. Haley. Thank you, Bob. A plane heading to Germany from Houston was forced to land at JFK Airport tonight after a bomb threat. Officials say the Lufthansa flight made an emergency landing after the threat was made over the phone. The threat was called into the airline's corporate office. The airline tweeted that it was diverted as a precaution and authorities are treating it as a viable threat. Governor Rick Scott is preparing to visit Florida's Gulf Coast. The governor is coming to Tampa tomorrow to highlight the recent job creation at Port Tampa Bay. He will also discuss economic impact of Florida's seaports. The visit is scheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the Eastport Terminal. Donald Trump tweets tonight that he will finally reveal his choice for Secretary of State tomorrow morning. That is widely expected to be Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil. He's a controversial choice, partly because of his close ties to the Russian President Vladimir Putin. ABC's Karen Travers reports from Washington. Donald Trump says he doesn't believe it. I think the Democrats are putting it out because they suffered one of the greatest defeats in the history of politics in this country. But 17 U.S. intelligence agencies say Russian government hackers compromised computers of the DNC. And on Monday, the White House added its voice to those saying the Russians were trying to elect Donald Trump. You didn't need a security clearance to figure out who benefited from malicious Russian cyber activity. And White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest went even further, suggesting Trump shares guilt. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. So he certainly had a pretty good sense of whose side this activity was coming down on. That was a reference to this statement during the campaign about Hillary Clinton's notorious emails. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Trump is having none of it. I think it's ridiculous. But the glaring public rift gets Trump off to a rocky start with the intelligence agencies he'll soon command. A senior intelligence official tells ABC News he's disparaging and insulting every analyst currently in the intelligence community working hard to protect the United States. And Republican leaders in Congress now say they'll investigate the alleged Kremlin connection. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. And as we await Trump's pick for Secretary of State, Mitt Romney confirms he is not that pick. Romney tweeted out that he is no longer in the running earlier this evening. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. We have a very festive show tonight. We're all angry with what Chris Pratt has done on Instagram. Bring it in! What are we bringing in? You'll see. <laughs> ABC 7's My Suncoast News app is better than ever with a brand new design that's faster and easier to use. Download our free My Suncoast News app on your mobile device at your app store of choice. Powered by the iAssociates, providing sight for life.
the official salon of ABC7. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Black Friday's biggest deals are still here. That's right, the Black Friday sales event is going strong at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or check out the stylish new Jeep Renegade starting at just $16,999. Stop by today and drive away in a brand new Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Now, sports. The Buccaneers are tied with Atlanta for the lead in the NFC South. The Falcons won big in L.A. on Sunday, which made the Bucs matchup with New Orleans that much more important. The Bucs take an early lead Sunday at home, 10 to nothing in the first quarter. And then skipping ahead to the fourth on the Saints' final drive, fourth and one. Breeze looking for Willie Sneed on the slant. Keith Tandy had his second interception in as many games. Seals the win for Tampa Bay, 16 to 11, the final score. The Bucs now on a five-game winning streak and today Bucks head coach Dirk Cutter speaks about the return of running back Charles Sims. I think all of our all of our backs are, are good receivers but Charles just uh, he adds a uh, an element of he's got a really good feel and pass protection and uh, he knows where to fit in the routes you know good timing on his check downs that that showed up a couple times yesterday good in the screen game you know, we were close to really popping, popping one of those screens to him. Probably should have screened a little bit more yesterday. Bucks' big primetime matchup against the Cowboys takes place this weekend. It starts at 8:30 on Sunday. The state of Texas will be launching what some believe to be the country's largest effort to track brain injuries among young athletes. The O'Donnell Brain Institute at the University of Texas will partner with the governing body for Texas high school sports to track the injuries among the more than 800,000 public high school athletes in the state. Researchers hope to use the data to justify changes in rules or equipment. A rare Sunday night verdict in the road rage trial of the man accused of killing former New Orleans Saints player Will Smith being found guilty of manslaughter. ABC's Elizabeth Herr is in New York with the details. The verdict is in and the man who shot and killed former Saints star and Super Bowl winner Will Smith is guilty. Continue to pray for all families. 
Cardell Hayes' attorney saying while he respects the jury's decision, his team will regroup. This after the jury of eight women and four men sequestered since Monday voted 10-2 to convict Hayes of manslaughter and attempted manslaughter for shooting Smith's wife. Prosecutors called the road rage incident an execution. Hayes argued it was self-defense, claiming Smith punched him three or four times and that Smith grabbed a gun from his car, even testifying, I didn't want to kill Will Smith. I didn't want to kill nobody. I knew for a fact that I was going to get shot. Even though this verdict does not bring back Will, everyone can join me and all of us in praying that this at least might bring a little peace now. Friend and former teammate Deuce McAllister calls the outcome bittersweet. Losing a man and another young man going to jail, you know, that kind of tells you what, what situation it is. You know, so in, in that sense, it's a loss for everybody. In a statement, the Smith family says their focus now is to see Mr. Hayes justly sentenced for murder. Hayes sentencing is set for February and he faces up to 40 years in prison. Elizabeth Hur, ABC News, New York. And that's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's lotto numbers straight ahead. I love big bling for little Ching. That's why I only wear Spectralite diamonds from Creative Gems or I wear nothing at all. ABC7 is proud to present Line Dance Central. Now you can learn popular country and not so country line dances from the comfort of your own home. Just visit mysuncoast.com, click on entertainment, and you'll be kicking up your boots or flip flops in no time. Brought to you by the White Buffalo Saloon and Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find 1,000 international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. You've seen me roll for a hundred G's, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. And so the best that I can do is pray. <laughs> Be a lady tonight. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and ridin' at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit Thunder by the Bay. Org. Don't hate me because I'm blingable. Get your bling on with affordable Spectralite Diamonds exclusively at Creative Gems and Gold and Silver where you always get big bling for little ching.
Colorado had a weekend full of holiday spirit. A VFW charity airlifted thousands of pounds of food and toys to families in need. A dozen small planes carried lots of joy. 10,000 pounds of non-perishable food and toys were loaded into planes that delivered them to five Colorado VFW posts. The VFW identified dozens of families who deserve these goods, and some had planned to greet the pilots at the airports. Very cool. And I think probably a really fun experience for everyone who's getting to fly those. Always supplies a great, too. great See stories around this time. We always hope that uh, it goes on throughout the entire right, year, though. It's always there's so the many great season. stories that go on for uh, this time up until uh, New Year's, really, right. and then uh, uh, things kind of shut down. So we want that to keep. Can't uh, forget keep to going donate all, all year. Way. Yeah, right. absolutely. Uh, we're looking at a dense fog advisory possibly mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. That could be tough going. Already tough driving along I-75 northbound. Be careful. Remember, don't use your high beams. Slow down and also roll your windows down. Turn the music off because mm -hmm. sometimes you can't see. You can hear a lot better. Concentrate. Have a good night.